Now, I told you that Ruth King and I were sitting there eating with several of my other friends. I had two more friends there. When I was asked to speak at this event at the Paramount Theater, they called and they said, is there anything you would like for us to arrange in Bristol, Tennessee, or Virginia when you're in the area? And I said, yeah, I would like to see the Bristol Motor Speedway. Now, some of y'all are going to be unimpressed by that, but that's NASCAR. That's big, buddy, and I wanted to see the Bristol Motor Speedway, and she said, would you like for us to arrange for you to go around the Bristol Motor Speedway in, in a car? She said, now, you'll be uh, sort of upside down on those turns, and I bet that the Chamber of Commerce would come with a camera. They would want pictures to show that you had done all this, and I said, I would love to, but I have two friends that I've invited to come. And she said the right thing. She said, oh, well, then we'll arrange for them to do it too. See, I believe that friends of friends are friends. And I had met Ruth King through a friend of mine from New York City that y'all know about, Jane Tucker, who comes down here and goes through my clothes and tuckerizes me. Did she do a good job tonight? <laughs> well, she put me in the pashmina. Do you remember the pashmina? Yeah, and she put me in the bodysuit and the fabulous New York City buttons. And the other friend that I invited to come was my friend from here, my bestest friend, Norma Rose. She gave me the ring guards, or shall I say she sold left brain these ring guards, <laughs> and was in on the buttons and lots of other things. And I wanted them to go around the speedway too. And they said, absolutely bring your friends. I hung up. And this just shows you how you can be all different type people, but if you want to be friends and have a good time, you can find a way to, because these two women are a little bit different. <laughs> I call Jane Tucker in New York City. She is in the fashion industry. She lives on Central Park West. She's always dressed to the hilt and knows everybody in that industry. And I said, Jane, you want to come down here a day early and ride around the Bristol Motor Speedway with me in a big old fast car? She didn't bat an eye. She said, that would be fabulous. I said, I bet you'd go to Arizona one day and see Garth Brooks and come back the next, too, wouldn't you? She said, I would love to. Do you have any airline miles? I said, well, I'll look around and see. Then I called Norma Rose. Norma Rose is a southern lady. She has her hair pulled back, and she talks very slow. You all, many of you know her. And I said, Norma Rose, same thing. Bristol Speedway, we'll be riding around cameras. We'll be on our sides. And the first words out of her mouth were, well, what would I wear to that? <laughs> I said, well, I don't know what you're going to wear, but I'm going to wear jeans and a T-shirt. She said, Jeannie, if you don't mind me saying so, that's the physical education teacher in you coming out. At my age, I'm not wearing jeans and T-shirts out of my house, and I don't think you should either, and I don't think Jane Tucker would approve of it. And I said, well, do you want to do this or not? She said, I want to do it, but I want to ask you a question. Do you think if I called Jane Tucker and asked her what I should wear, that she would charge me to give me the answer? <laughs> And I said, well, now, I wouldn't want to get in that. She said, I'm willing to pay. As a matter of fact, I know you pay her to help. I said, listen, her daughter's 6'4". She knows who will help me get clothes. There's a reason I work. I know that, Jeannie, but I just want one question and one answer. And what's your estimate of what she would charge me? And I said, call her and find out. According to Jane, the conversation went like this. Jane, this is Norma Rose down in North Carolina. Yeah, Jeannie's bestest friend. Yeah, we're going to have a good time in Bristol, but I don't want to talk about that. This is business. <laughs> I have a question that I want to ask you about fashion, but I want to settle up right now on what you would charge me to answer, ask that question. Jane said, what? She said, I'm going to pay. I know you'll try to say you'll do it for free, but I wouldn't ask that. <laughs> huh? I wouldn't ask you that I intend to pay, and if you won't let me pay, I will not ask the question. She said, what is it? What are you getting at? And she said, well, you know when we're there, there are going to be cameras. And when we get to Bristol, Jean, you'll be up on the stage giving her speeches, and she'll be like a little bitty celebrity, and people will be looking at us, and I don't want to embarrass Jeannie by what I wear. And Jane said, trust me. I've tried to help her with her clothes for 12 years. You, you can't embarrass her. <laughs> 
she embarrasses herself. She'll probably show up in jeans and a t-shirt to ride around. <laughs> what is your question, Norma Rose? She said, all right, but I'm paying for it. Now, you know that. What would people in the New York fashion industry say that I should wear to ride around the Bristol Speedway in one of those cars on my side with people at cameras when I get back? And Jane said she almost burst out laughing. She said, do you have a tablet and a pencil? <laughs> You've come to the right place, Norma Rose. Here it is. You ready? To ride around the Bristol Motor Speedway, New York fashion people would suggest wearing something that you don't mind throwing up on. <laughs> And Norma Rose said, are you going to charge me for that? <laughs> Jane said, I'm not going to charge you, but I sure am going to tell it. 